Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing my 9 to 10 week pregnancy update. I am about 10 weeks along now and I am definitely having a lot of pregnancy symptoms and this has definitely been a harder pregnancy than my first. So let's just get right into all that's been happening. So the baby is about the size of a kumquat right now. This is what he looks like, he or she. I'm using the Baby Center app to keep track of what's going on each week and just getting details on the baby every week. So I really like the Baby Center app. I think I used that app for timing contractions when I had Sophia as well. And then I also have an app called Ovia Pregnancy. And this one has a really cool thing that shows how big the baby's hand is. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And that's their foot. Just that little tiny dot right there. That's how big their foot is right now. I thought that was pretty cool that you could see that. So I have been super nauseated this pregnancy. And I don't just have morning sickness. Whoever named it morning sickness has no idea what it's like <laughs> because it's an all the time sickness. I get like really intense nausea in the middle of the night. I wake up feeling like I'm gonna throw up. Just like, it's just totally random times. It's not constant with Sophia. It was more constant and kind of more bearable. This one, it's, it's like super extreme and horrible but it comes in like spurts. It's still pretty often, so it feels like it's all the time, but it's not totally constant, which is nice. I have also been totally exhausted. Like I have zero, zero energy. And it just gets totally worse because when I'm pregnant, I don't feel like drinking coffee. At least in the first trimester, I don't like coffee at all. It just makes me feel really sick. So that's not helping my energy levels either. So I am just totally unmotivated. The house has gotten so, so bad. My mom came and helped me clean it, which was really sweet of her. And then now that it's now that it's been cleaned once really well, it's been easier for me to keep up on it. I'm able to vacuum the rugs as we floor every day and keep at least the living room and the kitchen picked up, which I'm super happy with because at this point, anything I can get done in the day is a success. And I, I really have to keep the floors cleaned up now that Sophia is crawling and she crawls around and eats all the crumbs and she me out so floors have to be clean every day whether or not I feel totally exhausted so I'm getting close to my second trimester when I started liking coffee again and thankfully yesterday I started liking it again for a couple days before that I had been making myself drink it otherwise I would just lay in bed all day just barely survive and so I found that if I made myself drink a cup of coffee in the morning I could actually get some stuff done. Like coffee is magic. Like when you drink it all the time, you don't think it really has that big of an effect. But when you go without it for a few months and then you drink it, it is amazing how much energy you get from it. So thankfully, I do like it again. So I've had two cups today. I'm not concerned about drinking coffee while my while I'm pregnant. I drank it through my whole pregnancy, except for most of the first trimester with Sophia, and she is totally healthy. And I drank it the whole time I've been breastfeeding her and she just doesn't seem to be affected by it. And if I didn't drink coffee while I was pregnant, I would just die. <laughs> Nothing would happen, ever. The other thing that doesn't help the fact that I'm so exhausted is that I have hyperthyroid and when I get pregnant, it really flares up. And the symptoms of Graves' disease, which is what I have, it's hyperthyroidism. It's, I just get really intense and exhausted and unmotivated and just all these things that almost seem like pregnancy symptoms, but they're just like extremely amplified by the fact that I have Graves' disease. So the exhaustion especially has been really difficult for me. One thing I've been having with this pregnancy that I didn't have any with Sophia, except for once at the very end, is heartburn. And it is horrible. The first time I got it with this pregnancy, I didn't even know what it was at first because I almost never get this. I thought it was a weird bout of nausea or something. But I've been getting it pretty often and the only thing that'll fix it is if I drink some apple cider vinegar diluted in water and it tastes horrible, but it really does work. This has definitely been worse than I remember Sophia's pregnancy being. That just kind of solidifies the fact that I have a really strong feeling that this is a boy. And then everyone hears that all about all these symptoms and that it's way worse than Sophia's was and like, yep, I bet it's a boy. So. So excited to see what it is because I really have a strong feeling this time with Sophia. I had no idea. I didn't have any feeling about the gender 
but this time I am totally convinced it's a boy, and if it's not, I'm just, I'm never gonna trust my instincts again, but I guess we'll see. I definitely seem bigger than last time, probably because it's my second pregnancy, and actually my stomach's a little bit stretched out and already bigger to begin with. A lot of it's probably bloating, but I'm really looking forward to when I have an actual bump, not just a bloated bump. I love the third trimester and that I really love having a big belly. It's not the most comfortable at night, especially trying to sleep, but I just absolutely love having a big huge belly and be able to feel the baby kicking all the time and it's just the best feeling even, even though they kick your bladder and it's not comfortable. I can't wait until I get to that point. I have gained around 8 pounds so far. I'm normally 140. I'm very tall. I'm 6'1". So my healthy normal weight is 140 and I'm 148 now so that's pretty good. I'm having some seriously crazy crazy dreams and this was something that happened with Sophia too was the extremely vivid dreams. Most of them are about this pregnancy and either that it's twins or triplets or something. Last night I dreamed that I went into labor and I was by myself and no one was answering their phones and I had to deliver the baby by myself and it turned out to be triplets. <laughs> so I had to deliver all three babies by myself and each one wasn't breathing when it came out and so I had to do CPR on the baby, each baby, and it was so scary. I'm pretty sure I was a little too hot last night and just pregnancy dreams are insane. <sighs> and then when I wake up in the morning, they feel so real still. Like even now I'm still upset about it and it's like 4 o'clock in the evening. My first prenatal appointment is scheduled for later this week and I'm really excited. I am going to go to the same midwife that delivered Sophia and I'm really happy with her. She did an amazing job and we've become pretty good friends. I'm actually really sad that after Sophia was born I had to stop going to my prenatal visits because I miss her a lot. So I can't wait for her to see Sophia too. She's Sophia's gotten so big since she saw her last. And the last thing that's happened that I'm extremely excited about is that my postpartum hair loss has stopped. That was so irritating, you guys. Like, it is a real thing. Our floors were just covered in hair and the vacuum would pick it up. I've had to use the shot vac to vacuum our rugs lately because our, there's just so much hair that's clogging our vacuum like every time I go over the rug and then it won't work. So. It's gone finally, I'm so glad. And I'm getting a ton of little baby hairs, and they're just hairs that are like always hanging down here, and like just these little little tiny hairs. So this, this area was like bald before, and now it has like tons of hair. So I am very, very excited about that, because that was very frustrating. I don't like it when I run my hands through my hair, and I get like a whole fistful of hair. It's I don't know, it just upset me for some reason, so I'm really glad that it's gone, at least for a few months. So here's the bump. It's just a little bit, mostly it's probably bloating, but usually when I'm not pregnant it like comes right here and it like sinks in under my ribs because of my hyperthyroidism. I'm usually really skinny. So it's, it's a little bump, it's getting there. And it definitely has stretch marks and sagging from my last pregnancy. It doesn't look the same at all as when I was at this stage with Sophia's pregnancy. So that's all for this little pregnancy update. I'm hoping to at least be able to do monthly updates, hopefully more often, because I really would love to have these videos to look back on later. I really wish I had been doing this when I was pregnant with Sophia, because I look at other people's pregnancy updates and I just think, man, that would be so cool to look back on later. So I'm going to be really glad I have these. But I hope you enjoyed this. I post three new videos a week on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, and I will see you next time. Bye!